man, I've been off of this React stuff for a long time, but I got back into it. I did a ton of coding in React and I've been able to take the skills that I learned and put them into my own workflow at work without any React. I'll tell you all about it. So this weekend, I finally got back to coding and that's all I did, React, all weekend. Just React, React, React with Andrew Mead's course on React and Redux. Definitely check it out if you're going through this. It is awesome. So I've taken a lot of his courses before, but this one is the best, it's up to date. Even with React 16 coming out, he has updated some of those modules with the new React 16 stuff. It's freaking sweet. So I, I love it. And he's gotten better as a presenter and as a teacher as well. So this is what I'm actually doing to prep. I know I told you all about this book, Pro Mern, but too many things were getting out of sync and stuff. It was just not good. With Andrew's course, I learned about Yarn, about Babel, about Live Server. It's really great. That's all the stuff that you use to set it up. So now it's not just like this magic box when you hit the uh, Create React app. I'm, I'm getting to learn what's going on and I can go ahead and make this environment myself where I can see where everything is and understand what's, you know, what, what I'm putting into my application. It's such a relief. And I'm only 15% of the way done with the course but that's because I'm going through it really slowly and I'm gonna hit it every single day until the next vlog and just try to really learn this React as soon as possible while really going through it thoroughly. So that might not be too fast in the long run, but that's okay. This is about the journey. I didn't go out and get this course so I could get a degree or a nano degree in React. It's all about the journey, about becoming a better programmer, a better web developer. And you know what? I have definitely become a better web developer because of this. Um, with Udacity, you know, you have some skin in the game, 500 bucks. You have a time limit. So there's kind of that pressing on you. You have like a community through Slack. And for me personally, I have you guys to help push me. So I do have some responsibility but that can start to kind of press down on you and weigh you down. So this break with doing all this video and video editing was just what I needed. So I told you that I started to use some of this stuff at work. Well, through Andrew's course, you know, I was going through some of the, the basic stuff, learning more about conditional operators, uh, logical and, then some of the stuff I had before with breaking things into components, uh, mapping over data, I use that now. So I have an order form and I made an express application uh, I stored the data in a file in an array. Then when I went to Express, I used a router to go ahead and serve up data. And then in jQuery, I sent out an Ajax request and it went to that URL and retrieved the data. If that makes your head spin, I totally get it. If not, hey, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're here with me. Basically, I'm, I'm getting a lot better um, serving up this content. And I'm not just making websites. This is an actual web app that will have a great value for the company. And I'm actually making headway now. Uh, for a long time, I was stuck, but I took a break. I also learned more about Node.js and Express along the way. And so I know more about that. And I have more concepts about ES6, about mapping, about components. It's just something I would have never done. Rendering stuff to the DOM. Uh, granted, it's in ES5, but because I've done that with React, I have such a better idea of how to render stuff, how to map over it, and how to interact with it. It's a freaking awesome feeling. Well, that's what I have for this week. Uh, keep a lookout for a couple more videos that I have coming out on Node.js and Express uh, resources, as well as another video that will be on MongoDB resources. Definitely let me know if you have any questions or comments, of course, in the comment section. And if you are wondering how come you're not getting all the notifications, that's because you actually have to hit the bell. I know I've had a few of you comment about that and send me messages. You do have to click the bell to get all the notifications for this channel. All right, that's it for this week. Keep on learning. I'll see you soon.